I'm Ron and I'm back again, you know, already with another round of sports reviews. You know what it is. Tonight, I am reviewing Canada versus USA in the CONCACAF Nations League, Group A, League A. Canada 2, US 0, 2 a 0. You know what it is. Canada gets the 18 points in the rankings. They're most likely in the hex. And we're top, we're catbird seeing the group. All that has to happen now is Cuba takes a point from the U.S. at home, or we are away, them going away to Canada, Cuba, or we take a point from the U.S. on the road, which I'm thinking is possible. That means we would win the group, we would go to the CONCACAF Nations League knockout stages and help solidify that hex spot. But we're in the hex, we did what we had to do, we got the 18 points, and it is what it is. I can't believe it. All that talk of U.S. needs a bigger challenge and all that, well, uh, mm, I think we were a challenge. I think this group is a pretty big challenge. And oh, wait, we beat the U.S. And I'm sure the U.S. soccer Twitter is on freaking strings right now. Freaking Taylor Twelman, all the yeah, the U.S. U.S. football Twitter's on strings. They're on strings. You know what it is. They're on strings because the two goals by two good old Canadian boys at BMO Field. First, Alfonso Davies with a cross into the box goes to Alfonso. He kicks it in past Stefan. Kind of stays on the line. He kicks it in fully, but. You know what it is? 1-0, 63rd minute, the biggest goal in Canadian soccer history. Alfonso Davies, 63rd minute, and he basically slides it in and gives us the 1-0 lead. It would hold until the 90th plus 1. Lucas Cavallini with a great ball over the top from Jonathan Osorio. Jonathan Rascott Osorio, my boy. Toronto boy. Lucas Cavallini, Golasso from far a far part of the box, a pretty good a pretty harsh angle, Golasso. 2-0. 2-0 Toronto not Toronto FC, but Canada at BMO Field, at the home of Toronto FC, wins 2-0 over the United States of America and basically gets a spot in the hex. We will be in the hex, most likely. We will solidify that. And, and, might I add, might I add, that will be, that means we'll go to the CONCACAF Nations League semis. And maybe even finals. And maybe we'll even beat Mexico. Canada is as good as I told you they would be. I said that Canada would win this game. I said that Canada would win this game. I said they would probably draw Mexico, uh, U.S. away in Orlando. I, I, they are going to win this group. They're in the catbird seat. They control their own destiny. They control their own destiny. And that's the great part about this. The defense played so hard to win this match. The offense was on another level. Alfonso Davies on another level. And the bat and the good thing about it is, even without Mark Anthony K, our offense was still on fire. Everybody on the team played for each other, not for themselves. They played for each other. They worked together. They brought a win home. Well, they won it home to bring it to us. But you see what I'm saying? They all played together. Everybody should be the man of the match. But there can only be one. There can only be one. And to me, well, I think it is... Let's see. There's a couple of shouts. There are a couple of shouts to me. Alfonso Davies. I wouldn't say Cavallini. He got the second goal. He sealed it, but I think it's a sub. He didn't play long enough. I think it would be Davies, Lorea, Piet, or Arfield. Because Piet and Arfield covered the defense well, I have to say. 
Um, uh, also, I do think that Davies scored the goal, and he played very hard to get that goal and played very hard the whole game running down the pitch. He was covering box to box, let's be honest. He wasn't playing left back, but he basically could have. Lorea, same, covering everywhere. Richie Lorea is a freaking, as I've said in my Toronto videos, I said from ever since he's gotten good, he deserved a Canada call up. He's gotten it and he's ran with it, just like the chance he had with Toronto. And Richie Lorea is a revelation. And I think he should start over Alro in the playoffs. Will he? I don't know. But should he? Yes. But with, with this, uh, Richie Lorea, I think he had the best performance, honestly. Because, and I'm not trying to say it's because he plays for Toronto or not. If, he, if it was about Toronto, I would have said Osorio. You know I am with my propaganda. But <laughs> you know how I am with my Osorio propaganda. Um, but Osorio played well. But Lorea, he had the, he played the best of all defenders, I think. He ran as far as, he probably ran at least th four kilometers. Four kilometers, easily. He was running from box to box all night. All night. So, I really think Richie Lorea, he put in the effort. He got other players in good positions to score goals. Um, it's him. It's him. He played perfectly, I think. The whole team played perfectly, but Lorea was part of that. If it was Godinho or ZBG, I don't think it would have been as perfect. I really don't. Richie Lorea, I think, is a key cog to Canada's machine. Because we saw with ZBG and Godinho, they weren't good right backs. And we either have somebody like Kay or Davies at left back or we have a pretty good left back. It's the right back that's the problem. But you have to have the backs to support the way that Canada plays. And Richie Lorea is that right back. And I'm happy because he was he was played the way it was supposed to be played. So I think Richie Lorea was the man of the match. He's a key cog to Canada's machine. And it's a great thing he was where he was. So, he's the man of the match to me. But the defense played well. The off, the offense, the strikers, the forwards, the center mids, the, the wingers, they all played well. And they brought the game into our hands. And we won 2-0. And I could say, yeah, the U.S. played very sloppily. And they didn't really have a good 11. But that's on them. Canada capitalized, and I wouldn't be surprised to see a stronger 11 in Orlando next month. I would not be surprised, but, I mean, we capitalized, and you can't complain about that. We played the game we needed to play, and we won by playing the game we need to play. We played. We are in the hex now because we played so well. So the question is, was it, what are they going to give, what credit are, gonna, are they going to give Canada? Because I don't think they're going to give us any credit. Just like TFC never got any credit for winning. Why? Because they're going to be like, oh, we knew the U.S. was trash. We knew they were going to screw up. That's exactly the type of credit they're going to give us. Canada, they're going to give us the credit of what I just said. Canada capitalized in the moment that they needed to capitalize. The U.S. still sucks. But no, Canada played so damn well. They dominated the USA. They dominated the U.S., especially the first half, which is what kept us in the game. So honestly, to me, the U.S. needs to give Canada more credit. It doesn't seem like it will get it, but they deserve more credit. Canada played dominant, and you know what it is. So... Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, subscribe, share, comment, like it. You know what it is. Tell all your friends. Canada's in the hex. And thank you, United States, for the 18 points. I'm Ron and I'm O. Peace.